Hello everyone and welcome to Deco Toast. This is Anya and today we are going to be doing a how to do your makeup with your feet. And so I'm sitting on my high chair right now as I usually do in the bathroom because then I just have easy access to all of this and all my stuff that's above here. Um, so the chair is moving, which I apologize for. The camera is going to be a little bit shaky. I'm trying. I'm really trying not to move here. So anyways, um, this is just the beauty blender that I'm wetting. So we can get started. And I will try to make this not too long, you know. Oh, this is going to be really shaky. I'm sorry. Anyways. Um, take my tinted moisturizer. And I really hope that you will be able to see everything I'm doing right in here. So... Let's begin. <clears throat> so I just take some on my toe and dab it on here. Okay, and then I take the sponge and blend it up. So as you can see, I have to kind of move my head around. So I'm sorry if my hair is in, my, in your way at times. But because my foot is actually fixed on my knee, it's resting so I can't move it too much. So I just have to turn my head a lot. Okay. Now the next thing is some concealer. <coughs> so then I hold it this way, use the tip of the sponge to blend that out. Um, just to let you know, I have literally mirrors everywhere. Um, there's one on my right side and one in front of me and then this one down here. It just makes it easier for me to always see myself no matter which direction I have to move my, my head to. So now I'll be putting some, um shadow primer on my lids and let me tell you as good as this product works this has not been designed for people that use their feet quite frankly i don't even know how it's comfortable for people with hands okay because this tip is it's like because of it being so pointy it just is kind of slippery and it's you have to pull it hard to take it out of the tube. So I'm not a huge fan of that. See what I mean? Like, ugh. It's just weird. And then a lot of it squeezes out. I don't know what's up with that. But. 
Let's put some on here. And it dries kind of fast too, so I have to go in and just blend it out with my toe. Eyeliner. Um, this is a liquid eyeliner, and I kind of start from the inside and do it in like little strokes. Now for the mascara, I'm trying to make it so that you can see what I'm doing with my feet too. 
not just on my face. Now what's left is the eyebrows, for which I use this um, gel brow thing. It's got a little wand at the end. So the last thing is the lips. And I've decided to show you a little bit of an extra feature. It's hang with me. So I recently bought these magnetic lashes. I've never used fake lashes before. But I really wanted to give these ones a try. So, so I'm trying. Um, I have, okay, so these were actually a full length lash that I have cut because putting on the whole length thing was just impossible. It just wasn't sticking enough to my eye. Like it wasn't close enough to my eye so I decided to cut them, make it a little easier. Okay, so I'll start with the first one. And to do that, I use tweezers, such as these ones. Now these are metal and because there's magnets on these, it actually makes it a little, well, difficult because they snap to it. If I don't do it right. Let me take you a little closer so that hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But there they are. I put them here so that they're, um, I just have them closer. And the way you're supposed to do them is put the top one on first and then the bottom one. Uh, yeah, that didn't work for me. So here's the way I put them on. I put the bottom one on first. Oh, this is a really odd angle. Okay, so the bottom one goes on first. And then I kind of close my eyes to hold it in place. And I take the top one, I just snap to the Okay, and I snap. So the recording just got interrupted. And so I'm going to do this again. Ah, take it off. And. Okay, top one. Bottom one. Let's do this again. So, there you go. Yeah, I poke myself a lot with those. And this right one is a lot easier to put on than the left one because I use my right foot to do it. But there you go. This is the way it looks with the eyelash as opposed to without. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you again next time.